G'day, my name is Brendan Lang, and together with my partner Chloe, we're excited to be opening our home up this April for Sustainable House Day 2024. I acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which our home is located, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. I acknowledge and pay respects to their elders, past and present. When told we needed to film a clip showing off the sustainable features of our home, I thought it would be fun to do it in the style being used by some flashy Sydney real estate agents, often seen on TikTok and Instagram. So here goes. This fully electrified, lofted, two-bedroom townhouse in the inner north of Melbourne has been lovingly renovated and retrofitted over the past two years. Starting out life as a food supplies warehouse, a development of 10 townhomes was completed on the site in the mid-90s. Come inside, check out the changes we've made. Sounds right. We went about renovating the home with energy efficiency and comfort front of mind, knowing that this would lead to lower energy bills in the long run. Let me take you through a few of the key components. We are lucky to have a north facing roof, which we have covered with 6.2 kilowatts of Hyundai solar modules paired with Enphase microinverters. These microinverters optimize performance throughout the day by working independently of each other and outputting the maximum power possible. The home had a single 1.5 kilowatt radiant wall heater in the living room, which required you to sit right in front of it to have any warming effect. We've installed four separate reverse cycle split systems to the bedrooms, living room and the loft. These typically run during the daylight hours, again maximising the use of the solar generation. We also added ceiling fans to the bedrooms to provide a very low cost cooling option. The existing gas cooktop had only two working burners, so it was the first thing to go when we took ownership of the home in 2021. We replaced it with a Fisher & Paykel induction cooktop, which provides fantastic control when cooking, is more energy efficient and much safer to cook on than the gas. Importantly, in a small townhouse, it provides extra usable bench space and is simple to keep clean each night after use. While on the topic of cooking, this is our electric Weber. She's a beauty and it feels pretty awesome cooking a barbecue for your family and friends on a summer's day, drawing energy straight from the solar panels. We swapped the 15 year old gas storage hot water system for a heat pump. It's 300% more efficient than the old gas guzzler and even has timers so it runs during the solar generation window. Via our solar, renewable energy is used to heat our hot water most days of the year. Selling the diesel V6 dual cab and moving into a Tesla for work is one of the best decisions ever made on this electrification journey. It saves the business over $7,500 a year in petrol costs alone, not to mention the environmental benefits. We charge it from our wall box, single phase, 7.2 kilowatt charger, and it takes about eight hours to go from zero to 80%. We've even taken it on road trips to Canberra and Adelaide. There are many more sustainable features to get off gas house, which we will be explaining in depth on Sustainable House Day in April. 
Chloe and I look forward to seeing you then.